Revelation 1, Jesus is the hope giver. John was exiled on the island of Patmos, where he received a vision from God, which gives us hope because it tells us that Jesus is coming again. John wrote his visions down in the book of Revelation. In Revelation 2 and 3, Jesus is a messenger because he delivers a letter to each of the seven churches with an encouragement and a warning. In Revelation 4 and 5, Jesus is the worthy lamb because he is the lamb who is slain for sinful people. In Revelation 6, Jesus is the controller of all things because he was with the church throughout its history, represented by the seven seals being opened. In Revelation 7, Jesus is a tear dryer because he redeems us, represented by the 144,000 praising him for their salvation. In Revelation 8 through 11, Jesus is the righteous judge because he judges all people righteously, represented by the seven trumpets. John eating the little scroll represents the excitement and disappointment surrounding the time when Jesus moved into his final stage of judgment. In Revelation 12 through 14, Jesus is worthy of worship because he came here and fought and conquered the dragon. In the three angels' messages, the first angel says, God has won. The second angel says, the devil has lost. And the third angel says, you get to choose who to worship. In Revelation 15 through 18, Jesus is the Avenger. An earthquake hit Babylon, splitting the city into three parts. The city fell, which avenged God's people. In Revelation 19 and 20, Jesus is the Deliverer. He is represented as the rider on a white horse coming to deliver his people. In Revelation 21 and 22, Jesus is the Bridegroom, and we are the Bride. He went to prepare a place for us, and he is taking us home. 